High school seniors may have spent some time over winter break preparing for college. Well, the process may have been easier thanks to changes in college admissions. News since Caitlin Hunt spoke with a local senior and university officials about the process. She joins us now live in the newsroom with more. Patrice Rondrell, during the 2020 pandemic, many colleges and universities dropped their ACT or SAT testing requirement. Now, three years later, higher education officials have a clearer idea of how this affects students. High school senior Kaylin Stallard is ready for her college experience. And preparing for those next steps came easier thanks to fewer schools requiring an ACT or SAT score. For all of them were optional throughout my application process, and I applied to mostly Indiana schools and then a few Ivy Leagues. Styler says the option to take these tests gives her and other students the choice to share their test scores or not with schools. It also gets rid of another financial burden when it comes to higher education. It would have been $144 for all the schools to receive that. So. It is really helpful for low income students now because, you know, they can apply to whatever college they want without having to worry that it's going to be too expensive for them to even have a chance at getting in. Universities are also seeing benefits of dropping this requirement. Indiana State University dropped its testing requirement for admissions before the pandemic. And when that happened, Vice Provost for Enrollment Management Jason Trainer says the school saw a strong response when it came to admissions. It's a, a great uh, mental hurdle that many students don't feel like they either have to report the test score or there's just less pressure about um, what, they, what, what they received on the test. Trainer also says the university found test scores were not a strong indicator of whether students would be successful at the school. High school GPAs were better indicators of how successful a student would be. But Trainer says the decision to eliminate test scores needs to be on a case-by-case -case basis. To think you can just admit students and that they are going to be successful without those supports and without that really thoughtful uh, design of the, the curriculum is something that I'm not sure all universities are able or willing to take. For now, Trainer says ISU will continue to go forward without its testing requirement. Something Stallard applause. And I think it allows you to be more of a unique person on an application rather than just a number. And not all Indiana schools have decided to continue without a testing requirement. Purdue University has announced it will require an ACT or SAT test score for those applying for 2024 admission. Live in the newsroom, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.